Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin, better known as Tayamo Erin. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how I trim my natural hair, how I trim my ends. So I see a lot of people with different methods. Some, they will go and like clip each end and that's what I used to do, but that is so tedious. It takes so, it takes entirely too long. I was thinking of how can I figure out another way where my curl is still intact but I can also trim it. Some people, they'll blow dry their hair out and then kind of like put their fingers like this and then cut their ends off and that's fine too. But I just wanted something different. Like I just felt like I'm not like a professional and I can't be doing all that like twist it this way and then clip it and look and I'm just like, I'm just, I just want to cut a curl. Cause I can see a curl, I can see, I just want to be able to see the end and cut it off, if that makes sense. So first I had my hair in a bun for about two to three days. That's why I look a little crazy. My hair's a little frizzy. So I just put some makeup on and I put my hair back and I like my hair to be stretched um, when I'm starting to do this because if I do it right when it's wet out, wet when I get out the shower, it'll be waterlogged and it'll take forever to dry. Um, so then I'll grab a piece, I'll put the rest up in a hair tie. section you're going to spritz your hair again don't make it damp but maybe like a little bit less than damp and then add some oil to it make sure your hair is completely detangled that piece of hair is detangled before you do this because it will rip out your hair if it's not detangled so I can't really explain what I do I like how I get the curl to stay but just watch and I promise you I, it'll explain itself As you do this all around your hair, it's going to be puffy. Like a lot of the areas are gonna be puffy because you're doing this on dry hair. The reason why I worked in my last video was because my hair was drenched and I took my time. But this is like, I'm just worried about the end anyway. So it really doesn't matter that it's getting poofy. You'll see it, you'll see at the end of the video like where I'm going with this. But some sections will be poofier than others. Some sections won't curl at all and that's fine. So I sat under the hair dryer for about 20 minutes, I wanna say maybe 10 to 20 minutes and my hair was completely dry. So I also ran to Sally's because every time I trim my ends I go and get a new pair of sharp scissors because I don't want like I don't want any dull scissors when I'm cutting my ends I just want something that are really sharp so I went to Sally I think these scissors were like ten dollars what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of my um, curls and and if it's a little poofy you're just gonna want to go back over it and recurl it it's really easy to recurl your hair if it's too poofy you're gonna want to comb the entire piece back out and then curl and then recurl it with the um, with the rat tail comb. Also, if you don't wanna use a rat tail comb or you feel like you know you just can do it with your finger right really quickly and get that curl to come back, then do that as well. Grab that piece and then you're gonna grab the end. Once you look at the end, you're going to be able to completely see 
the dry dead end you're gonna be able to see it like it's just like it doesn't look like the rest of your curl so the piece that doesn't look like the rest of your curl that it's not like it's not full it's not really bouncy it's just kind of like shredded it looks like you know it needs to be gone you're just gonna cut that you're just gonna simply cut that piece off and that's it the biggest thing is the end needs to be curled so that's why i said it really doesn't matter if certain parts are poofy because once you get to that the piece again you're gonna be able to redo it took me 10 minutes so after that I washed my hair and I sat under the dryer if I were to style my hair in finger coils and then wash my hair afterwards it makes my hair so much curlier than it was before because it, I just kind of made my hair like those Shirley Temple curls, like I just made my hair like tighter. So it makes my washing goals look better, actually. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.